you're reading a chapter that has actually been uh, delightfully co-authored with one of my top students here at Northwestern University in the Integrated Marketing Communications Department. Uh, Sarah Smith was actually editor of our journal, uh, which we hope you'll consider subscribing to, too. It's free, uh, and it really covers a wide range of topics, as this book does as well. Uh, Sarah and I looked at this topic because, as most of my students are looking at career options today, we are looking at how the field of communication is changing, and we're looking at it in the context of how the field of journalism is changing as well. Uh, public relations, uh, as it is at almost all places in the country, is either positioned with a school of journalism or a school of communication. It is not taught in business schools, and uh, except in extreme uh, cases of about four schools that I know where they teach one class, and it's mostly how to communicate. Um, this has been a frustration for me because I see the field as uh, nothing but growth opportunities. So being in a school of journalism, we find that we're trying to figure out ways to offer journalism students who are among the best and the brightest uh, coming into Northwestern and other universities because they're great communicators, they have great peripheral vision, they understand stakeholders better than most MBA students do in my opinion, and yet we find that their careers are sometimes shortcut because this field is uh, in some jeopardy. Uh, they've let loose a lot, of, a third of the newsroom, they say, in terms of uh, print. And uh, we know that the field is under pressure. It's under pressure for traditional reasons of economics, but it's also under pressure because of all these new social media that are available that we think uh, our students in journalism as well as in public relations will find a conversion. The new label that's being given, and we'll see how long this lasts with this edition. We may have to change the title of this chapter, at least in some of the material in the next edition in three or so years, is content management. And that suggests that, as journalists have done for many years, they have been able to manage most of the content that's out there in the press or published or available for uh, consumption by, uh, uh, by families, or by businesses, by individuals. They have been uh, developing that content by having, working with their editors and working with organizations to say, hey, uh, this would be a great story about the growth of this uh, a company in our area, or here's a story about the decline of this com a company in our area, and we need to cover that story as well. So content management has really been managed, in my opinion, by editors and by reporters for many years, at least in terms of the uh, general newsworthy kinds of uh, more fascinating information that's out there in the world. More recently, with the decline of some journalistic uh, abilities, in other words, uh, journalists today who might have covered one industry might be now covering three or four industries or five or six topics instead of two or three or one. And that makes them have to stretch a lot farther. So they need more help. This is a high risk subject to talk about. But they need more help, and we think they need help of intelligent, qualified, ethical people from public relations. And I make those points very clearly because those are topics that are talked about in this book and absolutely part of the belief system of the authors of this book. So what we see is a career option for both journalists and for public relations people to walk into an organization and say, we think your story needs to be told. We think it needs to be told across a range of media. And as a team of either former journalists or as a team of public relations people who have worked with journalists, we think we can create a program of using uh, these resources and these stories and then reusing them in other channels. So it isn't just doing one video for a television show, it's taking that video that we do for a television interview and rebroadcasting to our employees, putting it out to our customers, putting it out to our uh, suppliers. This field is really a convergence then, we think, of uh, some of what public relations has been about and can be in the future more aggressively and what we think journalism has been, and we hope journalism continues to have a lot of independence, but as those numbers of journalists decline, we think we're going to have to find opportunities for journalism values, ethical, investigative, storytelling values to be in companies and organizations. We point out that actually organizations want to be more transparent. It's discussed in, uh, in the book in several places. So that means uh, corporations are willing to have people write stories to their employees and to their customers and to the regulators that are, by the way, more revealing, more self-telling. Maybe, you know, they found out from experience that you can't tell each audience or each stakeholder group a different story. 
So this field is actually uh, full of importance in a way that I don't think it's fully been, has been explored. So we look forward to people uh, reading the chapter to understand that there may be increasing career opportunities. And I'll toss out one idea that's there. There's some training materials in the chapter that might help you to think about how you can retrain your uh, PR people or work with PR people or how you can bring in journalism people into your company. We provided that because some of that's part of what we do here at the university and also part of our a course uh, that we've developed in this particular area. One final comment that is a little challenging, and that is that this combination of journalism and public relations could be referred to as pernalism, P-R-O-U-R-A-L-I-S-M. That means that it's a combination of those two fields. Now, I can get a lot of trouble with my colleagues in journalism by talking about this, but honestly, if you look at this chapter, I think you'll see that the journalistic values that I've worked with so much as part of my life in politics and business and within this journalism school of Medill uh, can be shown to be of value to both public relations, to journalism, and to the uh, organizations that we talk about in this book. So enjoy uh, thinking about uh, content management as a slightly different career slant on what you do. And again, we always ask for feedback. Thank you.